Hey guys, welcome back to another another episode of Technic, where you're going to be noticing a few things. Um, number one, where's all my stuff at? <laughs> um, why am I normal looking? By the way, this is my lab coat, courtesy of, I believe it was War Machine off of Twitter. I want to say thank you for going to put my lab coat on for our little ticket technique stuff that we've been doing lately. So I want to say a thank you for that. Oops, too many times. Um, but it's, I think it's time to go ahead and start season two. Um, and I want to go ahead and go ahead and recap real quick on the town. We're going to be back here. A lot of you guys are going to be saying, no, Billy, no, 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 no. I want to tell you to calm down. Listen, <laughs> listen, this is going to be fun, and I have a great idea in store for this, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it as well. So let's go ahead and hop down here. So <laughs> I'll take you guys my idea once we get to where we need to go. So I went ahead and named this town Bentville, and, you know, it was a, um, a lot of names close to this, uh, and a lot of you guys did thumbs up a comment uh, like this before, so I think it's kind of suiting because it kind of matched, so... We're going to call it Bentville. And I went ahead and named... <laughs> I pretty much put a sign on all the buildings. Uh, Bentley's home. You know, this is to the stables. Which we still haven't figured out the whole... Um, horse thing. But I think I, I think I understand it now. I, I need to move Isaac out of there. Move him somewhere else. Uh, get those other two in there. Maybe give him a pumpkin. Pumpkin. A mushroom soup. Uh or a cake and I think it'll they'll do it but hey <laughs> I said do it lol um they'll make a little cow cow horse whatever <laughs> and uh so we'll do that sooner uh or later so we're not too worried about it right now this is our old geothermal generating building this is the main road to Thom Tower which is that guy right there we've been in there enough here we have Resource room, this is where we got the gist of our resources at. Solar supply room. Maceration room. Carbon plating room. This way we have the agriculture district. Induction furnace building. The storage. This is still under construction because, well, like I said, we're not done here, guys. I'm just going... I just want to kind of wrap this area up for a little while. I want to hit on something new. It's getting... I've just been hanging around here, and it's been a little stale for me. So, I, I want to get moving. You know what I'm saying? I want to make another town. That's what we're going to do. So, this is uh, the Agriculture Center. Yeah, I want, to, I want to build another town. I want to start another town. I think you guys might enjoy this next part that I uh, want to do here shortly. So just stick around and I'll show you guys. It'll be in this episode. Iron and coal construction for solar panel machine room. As you notice, you're not going to be hearing any clicking because, well, I removed all the timers for now. <laughs> yes, that is correct, my friends. I took all the timers out and put them in my home. They're all sitting in the chest at home waiting for the day of my return. Hey, let's say that. We've got plenty of solar panels. And a lot of you guys are going to be like, Bentley, why you no take solar panels with you? Well, I'll tell you why in a little bit. EMC machine room. Also, no clickety-clack. This building is still to be determined. I went ahead and finished it up. Put on a little roof. Some windows in here. And our rubber machine room. Then I continued the pathway onto the deck there. The dock. Where you can go out fishing. So, this town is uh, not finished and we're not done here yet. So, you know, I just, like I said, guys, I just want to start somewhere else, kind of get my mind off this area for a little bit. And I want something new, you know what I'm saying? Undergoing construction. So, like I said, we still got plenty of stuff to do, guys. Plenty of stuff to do. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and head back to the house and, oops. I'm going to show you guys real quick what we're going to be taking along with us. Just so the the adventure is not too stale. So, as you can see, we have our pickaxe of the core, which is uh, we got through Thomcraft. It's not super powerful, but it'll be enough till we can get some other pickaxes going. Maybe, you know, one of the gym pickaxes or a diamond pickaxe. I went ahead and got the axe of the stream. You guys, uh, I'm going to need wood, so that's what I'm going to need. So... I'll kind of go over the rest in a little bit. I went ahead and brought, I'm going to bring my flying carpet. I made me a new alchemy bag, just because I like to have inventory space. Um, 
I'm gonna bring my Philosopher's Stone with me, a little bit of power, just a little bit, just to get me started. Uh, some sand, and you'll see the reason why we're taking the rest in just a minute. So anyways guys, we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye to Bentville for now. It'll be a little while, and time to officially start Season 2. So, here we go guys, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, and we're back. Welcome back to Season 2, Episode 1 of Technic, where this won't be much as a playthrough, well I guess it will be as much as it will be more of a, a fun through, <laughs> a fun through, lol Bentley, so let's go ahead and get started, but this is what I've been doing, I'll go ahead and explain this to you guys. So, I have graciously taken when, uh, kind of off episodes beforehand, I took my flying ring and my destruction catalyst and cleared out a giant room. This pretty much only took me about an hour, maybe 45 minutes actually to do, and yeah, so this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making a town under here. Now, I have some really cool ideas that we didn't really actually get to last season. And one of them being that we're going to be making, like, in the corner portion, I'm going to make kind of like the underwater area. So it's going to have, like, it's going to be under the water. You see the link on my mini-map on the right there? It's going to be underwater, so I'm going to try and make glass. So once we get far enough into this, we'll be able to put glass over there, make our own little district for that. And then the rest of this over here, you know, we're going to be building towns. We're going to be building our machines. We're going to be building amazingness. And in the smack damp center of town, we're going to be building a nuclear power source. So, Bentville is kind of based upon the whole solar geothermal kind of power. And this time, we're going to be taking it to the nuclear power. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to need some resources. It's, uh, some common resources here. As you can see, my pickaxe of the core is going to be able to refine most of the stuff I mine up in here. And then you guys are going to be like saying, Bentley, but this is kind of cheating because you're starting out new. Uh, so you think. Um, this, I just want something that's going to be a little bit quicker for us to get started. We've already, if you guys want to see me get started in Technic really easily, then go watch episode one. <laughs> if you want to see me get started again. Um, it's all there, I mean. I've, I've done it already, this is what I'm trying to say, so. Alright, here we go. Getting all of our, our items back again. It's kind of fun to actually have to, it's, it's pretty much starting over again. It's, it really is. You know, I'm having to get all my resources again. I'm at risk because I have no armor on. But I do have my flying carpet, which is kind of cool. Put her on the ground. Oh, look at her go. Oh yeah, here we go. So I can use this to get up and around and out and have some fun. And that's why I kind of brought some of the other things. I, I mean, I, I I do want to have some more fun. You know what? I, I want to be able to continue this whole spirit that I have going on currently. And I have a, I'm having a lot of fun doing this all. You know, I just... I just really wanted a new area, and I wanted to get it started and get it going now. So, hopefully you guys don't mind. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this, because I think it's going to be pretty fun. So, we got a lot of caves in here to explore. we got a whole lot to do. So, this is my plan, right? So, i got some resources. This is the reason why I wanted to bring my Philosopher's Stone. This is how we're going to make it awesome. So, it makes it so much easier in here. Now, you're not going to be able to see this from the mini-map and all that stuff. I actually probably didn't need to bring sand. Because, well, I'll be able to convert. Uh, what am I going to be able to convert to sand? can't remember. But I think you can, like, macerate something and get sand. I can't remember. Now, this is what I'm going to be doing. Just like this. We're going to do this just a little bit in here. We'll pick up the rest of the ores. Whoops. And we'll convert them all into whatever we need to do. We'll make us up some good stuff here. Let's go ahead and change that back. So you can see it already looks kind of cool in here. We got green in here. Didn't have to feed it in from, uh, you know, above ground. All that good stuff. We got uranium there. We got plenty of resources down here. That's going to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. I think so. We're going to have all the ground that we need to build on. Gonna have so many ideas, so many you guys don't even know. Look, I even got a bunny down here. Look at hello bunny. Yeah, you're on my head again. 
Wee! <laughs> Wee! Yay! Yay, bunny! I hope you stay down here for a while. I'm gonna enjoy you. It'll be fun having you around. So, and yes, I do have some interdiction torches down here, which I guess uh, I really wasn't intending to keep down here. I just kind of forgot to take them out, so, um, you know, I am going to have some mobs spawning down here, which is going to be a fun part as well. But uh, for now, we'll go ahead and leave that there, and uh, we'll pick them up as needed later on. I think this is going to be cool. So I'm just going to do this last row here. And then we'll start gathering some more resources, get some stuff down. I ain't worried about you guy. You ain't gonna hurt me that much. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, zombie. How you is? How you doing, guy? So what do you have? We have three rubies so far. Not too bad. Um, here, eat my axe. Get out of here. Go, go, go. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up these uh, rubies here. I should have brought my shovel too. Don you should have brought that shovel. Should've got that shovel. Should've got that shovel. Hey, right, we'll take our magic carpet carpet back over here. <laughs> oh lord, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. You guys will enjoy this as much. Look, see, and this is the reason why I wanted to bring grass down here, because in this version of Technic, I am still going to have monsters spawning down here, or uh, not monsters, but mobs spawning down here, as long as we have. Gl Oops, there's <laughs> there's our classic little spike of lag there. We're still going to have <laughs> uh, friendly mobs spawning down here. Of course, we're going to have the zebras and such. We got a little mini black horse down there, so we'll be able to continue our, our stables and stuff down here as well. All right, so now I need to go ahead and get some trees going. And I went ahead and brought some of this stuff along to make this a little bit easier for us. Yeah, as you see... <laughs> We got plenty of room. Nice. So this is actually supposed to be on four. I'm used to doing the whole four thing. Oops. So much easier with this pig or this axe. But uh, I have to be weary as I uh, could more than likely lose it pretty easily. I hear a Zed somewhere. Zed's dead, baby. Dead. Zed's. Zed's dead. That's that's right, right? Ooh, this is gonna be easy. This is easy tree farming right here. Easy tree farming to the max. So if you guys are following along with me, you guys can continue to follow along with me if you guys want. Uh, if you guys were following along with me the entire time. A lot of you guys were wondering what my seed was to this world. My seed is right there. It's a negative six seven three one seven three one eight zero nine zero eight zero forty five eighty eight thirty six I'll try to remember to put that in the description as well if I don't remind me please I think I didn't last time because I don't think you guys reminded me but if you guys do want to follow along you'll be able to take your coordinates you know you guys can dig out this area as well uh, it's not too bad or you can just go ahead and uh, you know watch the last playthrough and keep up with me. But this is just something I want to do. I think it would be kind of neat. So we're going to try and do this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get us some buildings going. So let's go ahead and half this up like so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to make a crafting table like now. Here we go. Our first crafting table of season two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of you guys are going to not like this, probably, this whole idea I've got going on here. Actually, what am I using iron for? I have ruby. Let's have a ruby sword this time. Last, uh, I believe last season, in season one, I had a, um, I believe it was a, um, sapphire, uh, tool set. So, let's do ruby this time, shall we? I think that'd be a great idea. So I need to get some coal. Let's go ahead and actually let's let's do this. Wow, there's a bunch falling. There's a bunch falling from this guy. Yeah. So I think our I was gonna say I think I was gonna put our first building in the middle, but let's not do that. Zombie! This this picture does not look right. There's a zombie and a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> picture it makes no sense whatsoever oh lord 
And do 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 All right, so let's go ahead and make our first little building. This is going to be our kind of our shack, I guess. Actually, hmm. And here's the whole other aspect of doing all this underground. We can build into the walls. We can build in the caves. We can build out through the caves. We can. We have so many options we can do here. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick little hole in the wall. And here's the other thing. I don't have to worry about night or day anymore. <laughs> the beauty of living underground. I love it. So I'm going to start. This is just going to kind of be my workstation because, uh, you know. We're gonna be making a town here. Are you kidding me? Great. We're gonna be making a town here, so I'm gonna need a little workstation now. First season I used a uh, NPC village home. This season I'm gonna be doing it right, making my own little shed here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this going here. I want to get my generator, and then I want to get my MFE. Here's the generator. Here's the MFE. Oh. That didn't work right. Now I need some coal. So let's go find us some coal. Yep, there's some right there. A lot of you guys are going to be like saying, Oh, Bentley, you're making it too easy on yourself. Well, like I said, I want I want it to be easy. You know, because like I said, I've already done this before. And we're in the same world. So why not utilize what we have? And have some fun with it. Shall we? So that's what I'm doing. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix all this up. We're gonna make it look pretty again. We got a whole lot of purdy in to make here. I think it's gonna be kinda cool. Kinda cool. So let's go ahead and put half of that in there, half of that. Let's go ahead and get that going. That's filling up our MFE. It's gonna be the start of our power. And I think it's gonna be great. I love it. Alright, guys, I think we wanna use our pickaxe of the core a little bit. Pick up some tin here. I love this pickaxe of the court. It already re it already smelts all this stuff for us like super fast. So let's go ahead and pick this up. I'm gonna have to see we're only at layer 31, so we still have a little ways to dig down in order to get to all the good stuff like the uh, the redstone and the um, gold. And you know I want to say I like gold. I like gold. I do like gold. I like gold. <laughs> I like gold. I still like gold. Trust me, I still like it. But we still got a little ways to go down before we can get to redstone and lapis gold and diamond. So we're going to chill up here. We're going to get ourselves established up here with what tools we have here and what resources we have. And we're going to have a whole lot of fun. I got a cool idea, guys. Hopefully, you guys see it with me when I explained it. You know, we're gonna have a nice, cool nuclear reactor in the center of town. I have an idea. I think I'm gonna try and make it automated to where I don't have to worry about uh, setting it up to have to put in uh, more uranium. Like, I'll just have like a drop box and all of uh, uranium where I'll drop uranium in. It'll make up the whole uranium cells by itself and feed it into the nuclear reactor. I think that would be kind of cool. And that way it just has continuous power to let me know if it runs out and I need to go find more uranium. Uh, I'll try to put like a light in there or something so it lets me know. Oh, messing up the number one rule of Minecraft. Never dig down. Never dig down. It's a pain in the booty. There we go. Alright guys, oh, there's some gold right there, look at that guy right there. Oh, beautiful. I like gold. So, and here's the other thing that's going to allow me to get started fairly quick. So if you guys do want some little tips and tricks on how to get, if you guys are still here, which I hope you are, some little tr tips and tricks to get you started. If you guys can get yourself a Philosopher's Stone fairly quickly, you can take this little uh, number right here. You know, we got 44 iron on us. All we got to do is take and fill this up, like so. Oops. With iron, that gives you a gold ingot. Right? So do that one more time real quick. That gives us four gold ingots. Now, if you take this and you put it in there like that, so with your flask of stone, you get a diamond. So we already have diamonds. Already have diamonds. We converted it from... <laughs> We converted it 
from iron. That's pretty cool. Oh, I already had torches. Whoops. Let's uh, keep that guy going. So let's go ahead and get some uh, lights in here. I think we need to call that an episode. So hopefully, guys. Oh, look, we got an ogre. We got a cave ogre. These guys are a little bit more dangerous. And that's what's going to make season two a little bit more fun. So, <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below if you guys would rate that video. A like would be very much appreciated. And I love you guys. I, love, I appreciate you guys always supporting me, sticking around, chilling out with me. And uh, hopefully we'll see you back here in episode two. So until next time, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.